Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 4th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and all attention is on the skies this morning across central Alabama and south Alabama and southern Mississippi and southeastern Louisiana as we're dealing with Tropical Storm Lee. Let's take a look at our Skycam imagery this morning, and there's a look at Gulf Shores. Kind of a rough-looking day down there, and you can see the way those uh, trees in the lower center of your picture are pointing. It looks like there's a pretty strong southerly flow going on down there, and it does look like the uh, sand is getting into the parking lot. Fayette, uh, we're looking at the courthouse there, and you can see the cloudy skies. We've had a little bit of rain in central Alabama as I said, all, all eyes are on uh, Lee. Lee is uh, on the coast, uh, kind of, <laughs> the eye is uh, kind of moving in or, uh, you know, kind of on the coast. So let's just put it that way. I don't know if I'd say it's made landfall or not. It's certainly uh, making its uh, presence felt. In the upper atmosphere, we can see the reflection of Lee there over the southwestern corner of Louisiana. And, of course, the two players right now are Lee and the trough that cross the north-central part of the United States. Interestingly enough, it appears the GFS is going to let that trough go by without picking up um, Lee. So let's take a look at that in just a few minutes. We are showing some contrast across the country with some temperatures. It looks uh, kind of interesting now. We do have some uh, 30 values, those dark green values, up in the northwestern part of the country. And we still have all the warmth stretching from New England all the way down into Texas and, uh, and to southern Arizona, New Mexico, and southern California. So it's still quite warm, but we are seeing a bit of a contrast. And, of course, that contrast along the front that is expected to uh, bring some cooler air down our way. In the meantime, across central Alabama, we're sitting uh, generally in the lower 70s for the most part. Um, a few readings a little bit warmer than that. But of course, on the big picture here, you can see the circulation of Lee. But again, the temperatures uh, being held down because of clouds and rain. And we've had a little bit of rain reported across central Alabama this morning as some of the rain bands, as you can see from this picture. Uh, we can certainly see the circulation, uh, the center of circulation of uh, Lee and uh, the all the various uh, rain bands. And of course, it's been interesting to note, you don't get a lot of thunder in a tropical system, but it's been interesting to note the lightning detection system picking up a good deal of lightning, especially in the band that is just to the south of the Pensacola to Panama City area. Uh, so certainly some thunderstorms in there. In the meantime, let's take a look at central Alabama, and you can see that we've got at least some small amounts of rain. I know at my rain gauge this morning, I've only seen 0.02, so we're not looking at a lot, but of course that blob that's uh, a nice technical term there. That blob that's uh, south of Montgomery has uh, got some uh, heavier rain uh, in it. I mentioned yesterday that the watch warning map had been uh, lighted like a Christmas tree, and it continues to do that as flash flood watches uh, have been issued all the way up into the southern Appalachians, uh, the uh, especially the uh, eastern Tennessee area and parts of uh, extreme western North Carolina, uh, North Georgia. And, of course, there is a flash flood watch in effect from this evening through, I think, Tuesday uh, for... Uh, central Alabama. And of course, the reason for that is quite obvious, and that is that all this rain that we're expecting on the order of uh, probably across central Alabama, ranging from about, uh, oh, five to nine inches or so, uh, the, the, the rainfall total over the next uh, at least three days, probably through uh, maybe Wednesday morning or uh, Wednesday during the day as the showers begin to diminish somewhat. Storm Prediction Center outlooking two areas, one ahead of that frontal system and the trough uh, in the eastern Great Lakes up into New England from uh, West Virginia across parts of Pennsylvania, most of New York except for the New York City, Vermont, New Hampshire. And uh, then also uh, for day two, you can see that uh, we have the slight risk in the area uh, just to the right of the expected track of uh, Lee. So let's get to the 06Z GFS model run. And uh, we're uh, certainly looking at an uh, interesting situation here. And uh, there's the surface map for today at midday. 
And indeed, uh, we're, uh, we're going to be dealing with uh, off and on rain is what I would call it. It's not necessarily going to be raining the whole time, but it'll certainly be cloudy and with uh, the rain off and on from, from time to time. The trough moves in at the upper atmosphere um, on um, Monday. And the trough moves in, and there is the uh, closed low over central Mississippi uh, representing Lee. And, of course, that puts a good deal of rain uh, in and around the southeastern U.S. And then over to the right of your picture, you can see Katya coming in uh, uh, as it uh, heads uh, towards the area just southwest of Bermuda. Now, here's, here's the difference. You'll notice here for, uh, this is for Tuesday, the 6th, you'll notice the trough zips on by, missing the closed low of Lee. Um, yesterday, the GFS was suggesting that the trough would pick up Lee. This is quite a bit different because it's leaving Lee behind. Now, this is not unprecedented because uh, I know we saw this in, in uh, I think it was 85 in Elena. But the thing about that is it gives us a good deal of rain. It puts the center of the, of the now probably non-tropical low uh, over north central Alabama. And, of course, we've got uh, Katya coming in uh, down to the, the uh, t uh, area south of uh, Bermuda. The, uh, and this is, of course, on uh, the 6th or uh, Tuesday. By the 7th, uh, we now have uh, the remnants of Lee cut off over central Tennessee. And, of course, Katya is moving around to the southwest of Bermuda. And that uh, is now with uh, the reduction in... Um, Strength of uh, Lee, the upper low, uh, we're now seeing more showers across the north uh, third of Alabama and into Tennessee and Kentucky. The, uh, the low is still there on uh, the 8th, and that low uh, now over the Ohio River Valley. Katya swinging in, uh, approaching the outer banks of North Carolina, but not expected to uh, make landfall at all into the United States, as it should get pushed out to sea. By the uh, 9th, uh, we're seeing that as it's getting, of course, very close to uh, uh, Cape Cod, but uh, still not expected to actually uh, make landfall in the uh, eastern part of the United States. But we've got our little low over the Ohio River Valley, and that could be creating some uh, rain and some issues. The low stays with us as Katya moves on out. But notice what's happening down in the southwest uh, Gulf of Mexico coming across the Yucatan there. Indeed, we have another system that is uh, showing up on the map. So we've hardly gotten rid of the remnants of Lee. And here we are on the 10th, and there it is. And then here it is on the 11th coming across the Gulf. Where do you think it's headed? Well, you'd be right, right up into central Alabama. Now, we're going out into voodoo country here because this is getting out. Uh, this is 240 hours out. So we're definitely out into voodoo country. But there is Whatever this one's going to be named. I don't know. I've lost track of the naming. And then uh, if uh, we head towards uh, the middle of Voodoo, guess what? There's another one in the Western Caribbean. And that one heads for, no, if you guessed Alabama, you'd be wrong. How about Brownsville? All right. <laughs> I don't know if this is model madness or what, but uh, interesting to be watching what's going to be happening, happening over the next uh, couple of weeks. And remember... <laughs> I can't, I can't fault the GFS. This is, after all, the uh, heart of hurricane season. So we'll be watching this. If nothing else, we're not going to get a lot of sleep in the weather office. Well, I thank you for staying tuned to the Weather Extreme video. I uh, hope that you get a nice amount of rain and not too much, uh, but be alert to the fact that flooding is and could become uh, an issue. Uh, not initially, because our, our uh, ground is very dry, so the result is that we are going to have to watch for uh, rain to be mounting up, and I think the heaviest rain is likely to come uh, on Monday. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope your day is a good one. James Spann should be back with the next edition bright and early on Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.